we would be remiss if we did not uh, talk about the unfortunate passing of one of the legends and probably one of the most beloved guys behind the scenes, too, Mm -hmm. of professional wrestling. As the Iron Sheik passed away at 81 years old earlier this week, just unbelievable outpourings, social media uh, all over the place. So many people just really seem to like this guy. I've heard some interesting stories about the Sheik. Yeah, he, he liked yeah. to have a he liked to have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was a fun guy, man. You know, but uh, so many people uh, paying tribute to him, Sergeant Slaughter, and many more all over the place. But you know, I, I guess when I think of the Iron Sheik, you know, the I mean, the first thing that comes to mind for you know Dave, you and I are Hulkamaniacs. Uh huh. Yes, sir. And of course, he was the man that ended up being the transitional champion to Hulk Hogan and uh, ended up making a Twitter career out of it for the next, you know, 20, 30 years. <laughs> Got a little mileage out of that, uh, out of that one. But, uh, you know, the Sheik was so much more, uh, you know, it was, it was a, you know, a rest you know, an amateur wrestler, won an AEU gold medal, uh, uh-huh. you know, was part of a, you know, was trying to get on the Iranian Olympic team, just missed that, but was an assistant coach for the United States team for a while. Uh, so very accomplished amateur background, did a lot of training, of course, came up in the same class with Ric Flair, yep, getting yeah, trained yeah. with Vern Gagne, and, you know, wrestled all over, of course, you know, most well-known for his time in WWE. Uh, you know, of course, the Hulk Hogan situation, de- de- being the one to dethrone Bob Backlund, and the team with Nikolai Volkov, and, of course, then uh, aligned with Sergeant Slaughter in that whole little situation where Sarge went traitor. Right. Those boys got a little heat for that one. Yeah. Just a tad. Uh, and you now, of course, uh, wrestling in Mid Atlantic and so many other places. Uh, you know, it just, but it was really a fun loving guy. I, w- I was actually watching some of the YouTube clips of outtakes and bloopers and so on. Saw the legendary Turkey promo. Jane Main. Just was something else. Uh, you know, guys, your thoughts on. The Iron Sheik, uh, Iron Sheik, tremendous talent. That, that was so. That was my first introduction into wrestling was Hogan versus uh, the Iron Sheik. So I mean, especially I mean, as a kid in those days, it's just like he was a heel. He was just a bad guy. There was no like <laughs> he's going to turn around or change his ways. Uh, we were meant to hate him, but you know his body of work. You look back and it, it was just. It was it was amazing, iconic man, and that and now as you get into like the internet age and everything, he fit well with that. I mean, from being on the Howard Stern show, uh, that took him to another level in his Twitter rants, and uh, yeah, it's just a tremendous talent, man. And I definitely think he lived a beautiful life. You know, a lot of ups and downs, um, as we all do, but you know, good stuff. And I just saw that Hogan when Hogan beat him for the title on somebody played a clip of it, but. We won't talk about it now. You have a you, you have a wow. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> yeah, it's just random and rare. Yeah. But uh, so, Ricky, you were telling me that you had dinner with the Iron Sheik. Yes, I did have dinner with the Iron Sheik. <laughs> How did that come about? Uh, well, it was quite a while ago, but it was uh, it was at the Cauliflower Alley Club. Okay, uh, because uh, I, I I was I, I was a member of that and uh, with my dad, and we went to their big banquet and. Uh, it was like I think it was the first year we went, but yeah, all these legends around at different tables, you know, eating and drinking and such, and people accepting their awards. And then um, I ended up uh, sitting at this at this open table, and then uh, before I know it, boom, here comes Iron Sheik, That's and crazy. Iron Sheik is sitting right next to me. And I think for a short period of time, Raven was also sitting next to <laughs> wow. me as well. I had Iron Sheik on my left and Raven on my right. And I was like a teenager. I was a young boy with my dad, you know. And I was just like, I was like, "Well, this is this is awesome." And uh, I remember a uh, one of the one of the members who was there at the, at the reunion that year. They made like this really beautiful art piece for Iron Sheik. It, it was like uh, it was it's like w- w- one of those wooden uh, like a wooden painting, like you take a piece of wood and then you carve in like the picture you're trying to draw. And it was Iron Sheik, okay. and he accepted it very graciously. And then uh, he ended up. I like getting. They gave him a mic. You know, they gave Iron Sheik a live mic, and oh, he God. just kind of went on for a good ten minutes, <laughs> and it it, it 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 got pretty raucous, and it was really fun. <laughs> and I was like two feet away from him, you know, and uh, it was. It's definitely a memory that I'll cherish with me forever. Being able to do that 
uh, with Dark w- w- with Iron Sheik. Oh, yeah. um, but in general, you know, when you talk about heels and you talk about legends in the business, you know, Iron Sheik certainly comes to mind, especially as somebody who is able to uh, expand the business of professional wrestling. You know, he was somebody that. You know, you put on the TV screen and you believe wrestling. You put you put him on. You put him in a match with Hulk Hogan. You're buying a ticket to it. You know, so he really he really paved the way. Uh, beautiful memory, beautiful memory uh, to a beautiful man, man. R.I.P. Absolutely. So, say goodbye to the Iron Sheik.